in the s and &E sector, the science and engineering sector, there are five departments. My own, the School of Biological and Chemical Sciences, the Department of Physics, the Mathematics de uh, Department, uh, Electronic Engineering and Computer Science, and the School of Engineering and Materials Science. The college has invested uh, millions of pounds in recent years in our research facilities, and this has enabled us to build up uh, the range of uh, techniques we can use and to be competitive at an international level in many fields. Queen Mary is a great place for a PhD student to come, largely because we are such a research-intensive institution with faculty that collaborate um, within and across schools in an interdisciplinary manner. And furthermore, a student coming here would be able to not only take advantage of what Queen Mary can offer, but also the research community available in London, just an underground trip away. World-class research institutions attract the finest minds, and those are the people you want to do your PhD with. So when I was going through my decision-making process, that, that certainly was the, the overriding factor there. I think coming to Queen Mary um, provides that for students. I had a physics department which has been at the forefront of research for many years. Uh, string theory was born here in the 1980s. We've had a number of Nobel laureates do their research here. And we remain at the forefront with our research in the Large Hadron Collider. We have people studying everything from planetary formation to the early universe in the astronomy unit. But it's even better than that because we're surrounded by mathematicians um, over tea you can be talking to somebody who's interested in the purest of pure mathematics and you can be exchanging ideas about your research. And that's one of the, the beauties of the, the School of Mathematical Sciences, that are people doing lots of different things and you can feed off each other. We've been very fortunate in the last five years. We've got a lot of research funding that's coming to buy new facilities and equipment. One of the facilities we've been able to build is, an, is a nanoforce laboratory where we mix uh, nanoparticulate materials into plastics and, and rubbery materials and come up with fancy new polymer materials and polymer composites. The other area that we've got a lot of investment into recently has been in uh, nano visualization. We've got uh, a brand new lab called Nanovision, and within there we've got two of the most uh, up-to-date state-of-the-art electron microscopes that we've acquired recently, and we've spent millions of pounds acquiring all these facilities. Uh, so we're now becoming a leading international place to do this kind of research. We have significant uh, government funding. So there's a whole range of um, opportunities happening in terms of the funding model uh, because we're becoming a centre for excellence essentially of this research in this country and in Europe as well. So we've been working with companies such as the BBC, places like the Tate looking at uh, new forms of interactive art installation, companies such as Last FM, through to working with uh, researchers to create new forms of expression in these 3D spaces. I think it's a good environment in which to work. I think it's got a, a nice attitude in terms of the, the way it, that people sort of support each other and also, in a way, provide a knowledge base to help you achieve what, you, what you're trying to achieve. And it's really giving you the kind of springboard that means if you've got an idea, you can come here and hopefully realise that. One of the great things about being at Queen Mary, I think, is that it's a campus uh, university. It's multidisciplinary and there's potential for all sorts of collaborations. Um, but it also has the benefit, of course, of being in London. So you've got that fantastic combination of being a campus in London. It's friendly, but very ambitious in terms of what it aims to do at a research level to compete internationally at the highest level.